Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Monday Ritseni. My name is Mleti Sizulu and today I'll be talking about some of the effects of having low self-esteem particularly on your daily life activities, your daily life career um, could be your school, could be your relationships, it could be just your general um, life in general. Um, so just before getting into um, the effects of having low self-esteem, in, in a nutshell I'll just explain what self-esteem is. Um, so basically it's just you having um, self-confidence or the way you perceive yourself in just the way you do things in general. Um, having that you know a different perspective or good perspective in the way you know you engage with different activities or different relationships or in your career or in your school whatever the case may be but particularly the emphasis is on yourself um, and the way you perceive yourself particularly in a positive light so in, in terms of some of the effects of having a self low self-esteem with some people, you know, they might fit the criteria for um, everything. With some, it might just be one or two things that, you know, might have an effect on them in terms of their life in general. But in terms of the first thing I'd like to talk about is a person who generally has a low self-esteem sometimes, you know, have negative feelings, right? So it's normal, it's quite normal for people to have no, um, negative feelings and just in general having like feeling sad, feeling depressed, or whatever the case may be but a person with a low self-esteem tends to you know um, focus too much on the negative aspect of whatever the case may be um, you know it could be in your career wise maybe things aren't going right or your school is not going right and you tend to you know focus um, too much on the negative stuff rather than the positive stuff all right so the next thing is just um, believing you have nothing to offer usually sometimes people with um, low self-esteem tend to believe that you know what they worthless or they do not have anything form of input whatever the case may be it could be in your career um, for example if there's a big project coming up and you just feel as though um, you know my say in this whole thing um, won't benefit the company so people with low self-esteem tend to you know focus too much on believing that they do not have anything to offer um, and then the next thing that I, I could um, maybe talk to in terms of the effects of low self-esteem is maybe having difficulty, you know, being motivated. You know, if you tend to, it becomes a vicious cycle of maybe focusing too much on the negative things that you tend to be too demotivated to do anything in general. Um, it could be like small activities, maybe um, seeing friends or maybe doing small activities such as exercising or anything like that. If you tend to focus too much on the negative stuff you tend to you know be demotivated um, and something else uh, maybe that I can talk to is just having an obsession with perfectionism so um, you know if you have low self-esteem you tend to feel the need that you need to complete things to you know the specific level and obviously that sometimes obviously has a bad um, negative effect on you because you know sometimes you never reach that stage of perfectionism if maybe for example your aim is to get 100 for you know an exam or something and you get 90 that obviously you know has an effect on you know just your mental well-being in general and also your self-esteem that every time it also you know goes back to the thing of I'm going to be demotivated because I never get the 100 percent or you know it goes back to you being stuck in those moods of you know I feel sad I feel demotivated I feel depressed because I'm not um, aiming or I'm not reaching this hundred percent that I'm getting and that's where you know the you know being obsessed with perfectionism comes from um, and also just having a low you know resilience because sometimes you you so obsessed um, you know with um, perfectionism you so obsessed with you know doing things um, perfect or doing this A B and C sometimes that it has an effect on your resilience to you know um, overcome your bound uh, your, your your barriers and things like that or your obstacles um, a better term um, so you know sometimes it obviously has an effect on your resilience to keep on going to being able to do specific things in life um, as I, I mentioned before maybe your career maybe your schoolwork um, these are just basic examples um, also you know sometimes people with low self-esteem tend to um, lack self-care because it, it, it becomes a, a sort of like linked wise self-care um, you know self-esteem it's sort of like in a way linked because usually people would you know high self-esteem tend to 
live a balanced lifestyle you know you'll want to take care of yourself doing a b and c maybe exercising maybe reading a book um you know maybe going for a walk or something like that but if you have a low self-esteem that usually has an effect um, on your self-care and sometimes you, you know you tend to use drugs you tend to um, you know drink alcohol just to help you in terms of you know your self-esteem in some in some ways all right so Sometimes people with low self-esteem tend to, you know, struggle in terms of relationships um, because sometimes that um, if you're in a relationship, sometimes you think that you're not worthy of having this form of relationship, that you don't even give it your best um, because you're just like, um, I'm not worthy for this type of relationship that I'm getting from your partner. Um, also, you know, um, it builds on to insecurity in terms of the relationship. So it, it just becomes a, a, a cycle, um, just being stuck in that mindset of having a low self-esteem. Um, and also another effect would be um, being a people's pleaser. So what this means is that sometimes people with low self-esteem tend to, you know, they don't, um, they're not um, quite authoritative or, you know, they do not have to stand their ground in terms of maybe, for example, being asked to do something. Um, and then you you know you feel as though you're not capable of doing this thing um, but then you want to you know please people because you know your self-esteem is quite low that you you know it, it has an effect on you also so this is me Mnetisi Zulu signing off and I'll see you in another episode of Monday Ritsen